Municast is brought to you by SUMA, the voice of Saskatchewan's urban municipalities. SUMA is proud to represent the urban communities that over 80% of Saskatchewan residents call home. Each season, we discuss issues related to local governance and municipal leadership, like best practices, reconciliation, resources, and more. In Season 7, we'll be discussing the educational opportunities available to municipal administration and elected officials. Saskatchewan Polytechnic's School of Business has launched its new Municipal Administration Specialty for the Business Diploma Program. Graduates with the new specialty will be trained to successfully manage the day-to-day operations of a municipality as a municipal administrator, clerk, or city manager. This specialty has been developed in partnership with the Saskatchewan Urban Municipalities Association, or SUMA, the Saskatchewan Association for Rural Municipalities, or SARM, the Urban Municipal Administrators Association of Saskatchewan, UMass, the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators, and the Saskatchewan Ministry of Government Relations. Today, I'm joined by Chris Costley, former Municipal Administrator and former Executive with UMass, who is currently the Program Head for the Municipal Administration Diploma. Welcome, Chris. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you today. Pleasure to be speaking with you as well. So municipal managers and administrators are responsible for overseeing the day-to-day operations of Saskatchewan's municipalities, and the municipal administration specialty ensures graduates are prepared for demanding and rewarding roles in municipal administration. How are these courses delivered? Are there virtual and in-person options, or what does that look like? Yep. So the, the municipal program itself is all online. So the first year, you'd essentially be doing your business certificate. So the first year is in person or online. And then the second year you specialize into your municipal program. And that's all through continuing education. So it's all online. But your first year you can do both. Okay, perfect. That's great that for your first year you can do one or the other because it gives people some options. And then with it being virtual, it's accessible all throughout the province. Mm -hmm. So what courses are included in this program? Okay. Um, so your first year is, is your business certificate, which is general business courses. So, so you'd cover HR, you'd cover some business law, things, things of that nature, but it's very not specific to municipal administration. Everyone in their first year takes the same courses, regardless, especially whether they're doing accounting or human resources, municipal administration, it's all the first year is all the same. And then the second year, you get into your specialty, which is all specific to municipal administration. So there are no electives in your second year, but there are some electives in your first year. So the second year, you have to take the entire municipal program. First year, you have some options if you'd rather take insurance over some of the other electives, depending on which accounting you'd prefer. You have some choice there. But second year is all municipal. In the municipal program would uh, would include strategic planning and include governance, municipal budgeting and taxation, project management, municipal legislation, asset management, unionized bargaining, some conflict management, and leadership and professionalism. So those are the general topics that we cover. And there's uh, 14 courses in the second year program. So the municipal specialty is, is 14 courses as compared to the, the traditional five that you'd normally need to get your standard certificate. And so are people able to take some of those courses without registering for the full program or do they need to register for the program? Yeah, no, you can take the courses, whether you're doing the whole diploma or not. Uh, We still got to work out things with the professional association with respect to what courses will count towards your advanced certificate. But as I was saying, there's, there's 14 that are in the the municipal program as opposed to the, the the old, the five. So uh, I, suspect it'll qualify for an advanced level two, but that's that still has to be worked out with uh, UMIS. And then before that, your business certificate program had a, a bunch of courses as well. So in total, you're taking 26 courses is it for the whole program. But if you already have your LGA, for example, and you, and you just want to pick up a few courses that maybe you feel you could use some more education on, then we can definitely do that as well. 
That's a great option too. So if you've already completed your your LGA, then there is this option to take some additional courses in there too. Because over time, mm-hmm. it's nice to refresh on on some of these things because things do do change. Absolutely. And I should mention the LGA program too. We do have transfer credits in place. If you then want to go and, and do the whole SAS Polytech diploma, your LGA courses do count towards some of these courses in our program as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are there any specific courses that you think council members would benefit the most from taking? One in particular, the uh, Municipal Structures and Governance course that I worked on and uh, bringing forth some experiences I had as a municipal administrator. I was an administrator over 10 years. I think most issues that councils have with administrators are usually related to governance. So that particular course, I I do think would be beneficial for councillors as well, members of council, not just administrators. Most of the other courses are are really specific and a councillor wouldn't necessarily need that level of detail. But the Muni 200 Municipal Structures and Governance definitely would would help uh, councillors as well. That's good to know, especially with the municipal election coming up very shortly here. There there may be some new councillors and mayors looking for some additional resources. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. From the smallest villages to the largest cities, every day your urban municipality supports you. The water that travels from tap to sewer the emergency services that keep you safe, the parks, libraries, and rinks that you enjoy, our cities, towns, villages, resort villages, and northern municipalities are urban hubs bringing people together. We are urban. Celebrate your municipality as part of the urban family. You mentioned the program takes uh, two years to complete for so that first year with the business diploma and then the municipal administration specialty. If people were wanting to do it on more of a part time basis, how long would they have to complete the program? SAS Polytech policy is you have to complete your business diploma within five years. But with approval from the program head, you can go beyond five years. So if there's a, a reason for going beyond and the programs aren't changing significantly and beyond the five-year period, then that would be approved. And so how much does a course cost in the program? The continuing education courses are all in that five to $600 range. We're running two municipal courses right now. They're both closer to 600. Uh, we're doing municipal structures and governance and the introductory municipal accounting and finance right now. So we've got a small group, but it's a new program. So we expected that. They're just starting that now. We're hoping to be up to about seven students next year, and it's going to take some time to build, but 30 is full kind of thing. So so we'll work our way to 30 over the next few years. Yeah, well, I know from Sumer's perspective, it's been nice to see the program start to take off and people have been showing more and more interest in it. So I hope to see mm-hmm. those those classes hit their their capacity. Yeah, Absolutely. When do classes take place and how can people register? Is there a set semester for these and how long does that last for? There is. So we just started the fall session here um, for the municipal courses. And the the course offerings kind of depend on on numbers to some degree. Right now we're we're running the municipal courses just regardless because uh, it's a new program. But uh, down the road, it'll depend on on numbers. Yeah, it's uh, it's all through continuing education. So the best way is to contact continuing education coordinator and just find out if the course is running and express your interest in it. Because if they know that there's a lot of interest in it, then we'll we'll make an offering. But where you check that, you check the website, uh, my SAS Polytech website. Look for the continuing education section and get in touch with the coordinator through there because if if there is a an offering of the course it'll show on there but it will more than likely just give you a number to contact if for given that it's a new course okay that's good to know in case people were going to check and not seeing dates and and unsure why now hopefully they'll know that they can reach out 
That brings me to the end of my questions. And I want to thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me today about the Saskatchewan Polytechnic Business Diploma with a specialty in municipal administration. Do you have any final comments that you'd like to leave listeners with? I'm really excited to be part of this program. I spent over 10 years in municipal administration, and most of that time I spent on the UMIS executive as well. And it's just, even in in the time I've been involved, so much has changed. Uh, Municipal administration is an increasingly complex field. It's ever evolving. And our training needs to evolve as well to, to respond to those changes as rate payers, which we all are, we all pay property taxes, we're better served by most qualified people. And so I, I'm excited that we're going to be putting out more skilled administrators. And I, I think people will see over time that that's their municipalities are just running smoother because we're putting forward better people in place to start. And administrator retention, I think, will be better as well because they're we're seeing a lot of the time people are thrown into a position that they weren't properly prepared for. And that's a recipe for, for failure. And so I think we can address all these issues with better training programs. So just super excited to be a part of this program. Yeah, absolutely. I, I hope to see some of those issues be addressed through that too, because the administration turnover is something that we hear a lot about here as well. So hopeful to see that change with the with the new education that's out there now. This brings us to the end of another episode of Minicast. Thank you for listening in. Join us for Episode 3, Local Government Administration with the University of Regina, available October 30th. Is your municipality a SUMA member? Did you know elected officials and staff have access to resources, meeting and webinar recordings, templates, and more through the member portal? Each member municipality has one shared login to the portal. Chat with your administrator or contact the SUMA office for more information.